This is a 360 video. Move your mobile device to look around or click and drag on your desktop. Enjoy. Welcome. In this tour, we will show you what goes on behind the scenes at a Canadian dairy processing plant that processes milk and cream for you and your family. Because milk is a highly perishable product, it needs to get from the cow to the customer as soon as possible. This generally takes between two to three days. Dairy cows are milked two or three times every day, and milk is picked up at the farm every two days. You can see how cows are milked and the farms they live on in other virtual farm tour videos. At the farm, the milk truck driver takes a sample of the product, records the milk temperature, and tracks how much milk comes from each farm. Raw milk arrives in insulated milk trucks at this processing plant. The trucks can each carry an average of 30,000 liters of raw milk, maintaining a temperature of less than 6 degrees Celsius during the trip. The trucks bring the milk to the plant's milk receiving bay. The milk receiving area is kept isolated from the rest of the processing plant to prevent any chance of cross-contamination. Certified milk receivers and lab technicians conduct many tests on incoming product. Milk can only be unloaded if it meets all health and quality standards. Only after staff in the lab review and approve the tests is the milk unloaded into stainless steel storage silos equipped with cooling systems. In these silos, the temperature is monitored constantly. Before staff step onto the processing floor, they are fully equipped with food safety gear. This includes a sanitary coat and hair net, and beard net if applicable, to prevent any form of contamination. Staff are also required to wash their hands at hands-free washing stations whenever entering different processing areas throughout the plant. Processing in this plant is fully enclosed. From the time the milk is received to the moment a consumer opens a carton, dairy products are entirely sealed from the outside environment. Sterilized stainless steel pipes carry the milk throughout the entire plant, and automated cleaning systems are used on every surface that is exposed to milk. At each stage of the process, computers are communicating with each other and staff are monitoring the progress. Milk is standardized to the proper milk fat level. For example, 2% or 1%. To do this, the milk is passed through a separator, which spins the milk around at thousands of revolutions per minute. The heavier liquid, or milk, is pulled to the outside walls of the separator, while the cream, which is lighter, collects in the middle and flows out a separate spout. The cream will be packed for retail or food service use, or used for making butter. At this plant, milk is transferred from the tanks to the ultra-high temperature pasteurizer, known as the UHT. Pasteurization is an important process in the food safety system, as it destroys any potential illness-causing microorganisms in the milk, and extends the shelf life of the finished product. Pasteurized milk also goes through a process called homogenization, where suspended fat molecules are blended evenly into the milk. If not homogenized, fat particles would settle on the surface of the milk as cream. Homogenization is accomplished by forcing the liquid through small openings under very high pressure so that all fat particles are the same size. The final stage is to cool the milk to 4 degrees Celsius. It is then stored in clean, sanitized storage tanks until it is ready for packaging. Quality control tests are conducted at every stage of processing. Milk must pass all tests or it will not be packaged. In the packaging room, the milk is pumped into sterilized paper cartons or plastic bags and sealed before being placed into clean, reusable plastic cases. The bags or cartons are stamped with a best before code and lock code this ensures that the milk doesn't stay on retail shelves for longer than it should. In the rare instance of a quality issue, the plant's quality control team could use the lock code to trace the milk in question to the load from which it was received. This enables the processing team to quickly isolate the source of a potential problem. Before the quality control team in this plant will release the finished product, samples are tested to ensure quality. All finished product samples are subjected to heat stress tests, where lab technicians will measure the stress samples for the presence of bacteria. This step in the extended shelf life process takes additional time, but offers the consumer further confidence in the product. 
The packaged milk is refrigerated until it is released by the quality control team. When it will be transported in refrigerated delivery trucks, you can be confident that your milk is safe and quality assured. So pour a glass with your next meal and enjoy the quality, purity, and great taste of Canadian milk. We hope you've enjoyed your tour of this Canadian milk plant. Watch the next virtual tour to see how cheese is made.